When Professor Gray said she wrote a grammar, she meant that she discovered the rules of the language and wrote them down. For example, in English, you could start with examples like this. I bought a chocolate cake. The clerk put it in a big box. We ate it at the birthday party. These are examples of sentences in English, and so how can we write a grammar that describes those sentences? To write a grammar describing these sentences, you would look at their structure. You find some things that are the same in all of the sentences. In our example sentences, we identify three things that are similar. The first one I put in red, and that is that there is a person at the beginning of the sentence. I refers to the speaker in the first sentence. Clerk refers to the person in the store. We refers to me and somebody else in the third. The second thing that I find in common is that each one has a verb. There's a word that says we did something, bought, put, and ate. The verbs are in blue. And the third thing that I found in common is that at the end of a sentence, there is a complex of three words, and those are a noun phrase. That contains a noun and an adjective and a determiner or an article, as we call it sometimes. So each one of the sentences has a person or subject at the beginning. In the middle, there's a verb that indicates some action. Then at the end, there's a noun phrase that has three parts, a noun, an adjective, and an article or a determiner. To write the grammar, then, we have to write a description of what the sentences have in common. And we can do it, as I have shown here, with a person, a verb, and a noun phrase. That description is for those three sentences and that description is what we would call the grammar. And obviously, it's a simple grammar, and it doesn't even account for all of the words in those sentences, but it's a start. It's the type of description, and so it would count as a grammar. This gives us a better idea of what we mean by writing a grammar. When you write a grammar, you create rules that are based on specific examples. Figuring out grammar rules from examples is one way to learn a language. Figuring out grammar rules is also important for teaching language. So in fact, writing grammars is something that both we as English teachers and our students as English learners need to be able to do.